Hey, welcome! This episode is all about designing and painting an environment. We'll start with a simple sketch, move on to color and polish it up with some details and storytelling. Also, along the way I will give you some tips and ideas on how you can improve your digital painting. My name is Victor, I'm an illustrator and concept artist and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and find it helpful. Alright, let's start! Alright, so as I mentioned, I'm moving on with the sketch. It's very simple, very loose. I don't really, I'm not really bothered too much by it, as long as it's readable and shows what I want. I thought that the focal point is going to be this building in the middle. I was thinking at first that it could be a construction site, some ancient artifact or anything, but uh, basically decided to make it like an excavation point. And I thought that this scaffolding I'm going to build around it is going to be like a really good opportunity to pack in some details. It's quite easy when you have this small vertical and horizontal lines provided by the scaffolding. It's also very easy to establish the mood of your painting once you've decided what kind of, you know, color and value you want to go with the sky. Okay, so once we have all the major shapes blocked in, we have a very simple silhouette of a character in the foreground for storytelling and maybe some scale purposes. I'm still spending some time on designing some shapes in the foreground and then I'm gonna move on to the background a bit more because overall colors seem to be quite warm. So I was thinking maybe to add some colder, desaturated uh, nuances in the clouds. Okay, so finally working on describing the forms for the main structure, I've also decided to add the sunlight coming from the left, it's gonna hit the top part of this main building and I think it's gonna be enough contrast to drive the viewer's eyes towards our focal point and also you should probably plan it ahead so it's, you know, so it works well with the overall design of the scaffolding and that excavation site overall. In order to be consistent, I'm adding the same light source for the building in the background, tone it down a bit, and I'm also still spending some time to add a bit more depth to the clouds and the sky, trying to, you know, adjust the values, adding some details here and there, and, you know, continuing doing so until it looks okay. Okay, so what about the focal area? We're building the scaffolding around it, we're trying to adjust the values here and there just to make sure that everything is readable and that there is enough contrast to draw the viewer's eyes. I'm also thinking about the smaller shapes, 
I'm adding as much as possible because I want it to be a nice counterbalance to the big and the medium ones. Adding some ropes here and there and overall additional details that will help with the focal point. Spending some time on the foreground, adding a little bit of textural information, trying to figure out the structure of this whole thing, uh, adding a bit of depth, trying to describe the forms better as well. At this point, I'm spending quite a bit of time trying to manage the details, making sure there is not a lot of noise and contrast in areas of less importance, adjusting the shapes a bit, pushing and pulling until they look a bit better. I'm also trying to manage the depth of the whole scene by adding a few more planes in the background and maybe a little bit of more fog that is gonna unify the whole image together.
All right, now let's have a look at the final image and see what's going on. As you can see, I've spent a little bit more time on the character. I kept it very simple, just basically two, two values uh, so that it's nice and readable. I've also spent some time on the lead side of the main structure. It, it was quite a bit boring, so I've added some indentations and cracks here and there, but I think I should spend a bit more time on it. I've also uh, removed some complexity from uh, secondary areas that I thought were not so important. So I did some textural information, a bit more details to our focal point. Thank you everyone for staying till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, helps a lot. Also, don't forget to ask any questions you have about the process in the comments. I'm trying to answer all of them. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Coming soon.